One person we suspect might, might not at this point be fully unified is Mark Stein. He joins us now to assess Joe Biden's press conference. Mark, it's great to see you tonight. So I guess the headlines here are unity four more years. What's your reaction to that? Well, thank you for that question. I, I had a staffer write it out for me on this piece of paper. But uh, anyway, <laughs> oh, you, you, you make Jim Crow look like Nigel Peregrine Falcon. You know, I didn't <laughs> buy all... I didn't buy all this stuff uh, about uh, cognitive decline, but I think it's catching because uh, the cognitive decline I saw was in those fawning lickspittles of the world's most somnolent press, the court eunuchs of the American media, who were... Uh, Biden said things that are... Pay he said we our infrastructure needs, we have to raise every highway by three feet because of global warming, because of climate change. Every road in America needs to be raised three feet. And they took that. They nodded. They're on board with raising every single road three feet. And then, of course, the trucks won't be able to get through the bridge under the railway line, so we'll have to raise all the railway lines uh, and overpasses three feet too. There'll be no... And he said, he actually said, that all the people who've been laid off from the Keystone Pipeline, all these people can be gainfully employed, raising every road three feet. And these people, the court eunuchs of the Democrat, uh, of the Democrat Party in the American media, the court eunuchs just sat there and went along with it. They're the ones with the cognitive decline issues. He's doing brilliantly. This, this whole geezer thing where he's got the, the cards and he peers at the cards and he gives up in the middle of the words. How, it, how would you feel if I just stopped in the middle of a what? <laughs> you know what? I'd probably, I'd probably call you moral and decent and applaud your plan yeah. to move America's highways up yeah. three feet and not ask what Barack Obama's going to do with his $30 million estate on the water in Martha's Vineyard. I doubt he'll raise it three feet because yeah. he doesn't believe it because no one does. actually. No, no. But I wonder, no, no. do you think he's he's serious about another term? I mean, it's a little early, by the way, to announce that. And what do you think Kamala Harris thinks of this? And should he get a food taster? I think he is serious about another term. I have no idea right now who the government of the United States is. But if the deep state right. can get away with this, the deep state can pull anything off because basically they're saying, we don't need anyone in the Oval Office. He's not in the Oval Office. He's, uh, he's down in the basement with the, the tapioca and the Andy Griffith reruns all day. Uh, and the deep state yeah. is saying, if we can pull this off, we don't need anyone in the Oval Office. That's superfluous. That, that is so deep and true. And I, it's hard to be angry at Biden. I mean, you know, he's happily feeding cashews to his dog in his bedroom, and that's, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I respect my elders. But this is a display of strength by the permanent state. Four years ago, I didn't even believe in the permanent state, having spent my whole life in D.C. Now, I think you're absolutely right. Yeah. This is the people behind the curtain saying we're in charge. By, by the way, Tucker, I don't want to go all monarchical on you again, but the other day the Queen did a panel with the chief public health officers in England, Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales, and she was sitting there going, well, let's go to Belfast now and uh, tell me, how, uh, Nigel, is it all? And uh, she was like Brett Bear in a tiara, and she's 20 years older than Biden. So there's no reason why he shouldn't be doing this for a fourth, fifth or sixth term. If this is the bar... <laughs> The, uh, the court eunuchs of the media will uh, put up with. I can't hear a word you're saying because I just, Brett Bear and the tiara is just, it's just lingering in my, I can't do the rest of the show, actually. I'm bowing out. Uh, Mark Stein, <laughs> it's great to see you tonight. Thank you. Anyway, Tucker. To <laughs> <laughs> so good.